What's good, we're back in this thing. Whoa, <laughs> haven't done that in a long time. Today, we're gonna be going over this really smooth, super, super clean transition in After Effects. I'm not gonna lie, I absolutely snapped on this. Like the paper rips in half and it actually starts burning and it looks like it's actually burning. Let's just get into it. So in After Effects, this is my final effect here. You can see super clean transition. We get this flash effect with a paper rip, there's fire burning. You can see the top and bottom fall off and then this middle clip starts to dissolve with fire burning in the background super cold honestly probably one of my favorite tutorials i've made in a long time and then i did also sauce it up with some sound effects just so you can get an idea of what it would be like in a music video just if you want to hear it with a nice little Shit's crazy, come on. Everything that I use to make this effect will be linked in the description. The paper textures, the sound effects are both from my website and then the fire assets are from Cinepacks. Starting off, we need a freeze frame. That way we can have that still image of that paper rip that we can rip in half and then start to burn. So to do that, I'm gonna go to the last frame in the first clip, click Control D to duplicate it, right click, go to time and then freeze frame. I'm gonna make this freeze frame 20 frames long. Now we need to transform this freeze frame into a piece of paper. That way we can have it rip apart. We can do that by dragging on one of my paper textures. I'm using black sheet one for my original OG ultimate texture bundle. Like I said, everything I'm using is linked in the description. And then let's open up the transform options. It's in 4k. So it's really, really scaled in. So I'm going to turn it to 50%. And then let's go ahead and just so we can see what we're working with, turn it to screen. Now it's going to instantly give that paper texture and we need to rotate it just so it fits the screen a bit more. The next step is to split this paper into three. That way there's a top, a middle and a bottom section. So to do that, I'm going to select on the freeze frame layer as well as the paper texture layer and then right click and click pre-compose. We can name this our base layer and just make sure to move all attributes into new composition, adjust duration to the span of the selected layers, and then open in a new comp. Inside of that comp is now the freeze frame and the paper texture layer. Let's go back to our original comp. Using the pen tool, I'm going to split it right where this rip is, right down the center. Now we have just the top area selected. You can see it's now a freeze frame of just the top. So let's go ahead and duplicate that comp layer, open up our mask options, and instead of add, let's go to subtract. I'm going to turn off that top layer and rename it to top. Now you can see we have the bottom too. So going to the pen tool again, I'm going to split this bottom section. Once you mask that out, it won't do anything if you have it on add. So let's go to subtract. And now we can see we just have that middle layer. So we can now rename this section to middle and then duplicate that middle layer. We can turn off that previous middle and go to middle two. open our mask settings and click add on the second mask and then none on the top mask and then rename this to bot. So now we have the top, the middle and the bottom layer. Now let's animate this paper rip to split apart the top and bottom to go up and go down. And then that middle layer to kind of scale down and then rotate and fall. At first, I want it to be a stationary image for a few frames. So let's open up position on that top layer and keyframe it like five frames in from zero to five. It's just in the same spot. And then I want it to quickly go up. Same with the bottom. I want it to quickly go down. So let's also open up position on the bot layer and then just go a few frames forward. And then let's keyframe that top to go out of frame like that. And and then the bot to go out of frame just like that. Make sure you have motion blur enabled and then on each layer you have motion blur enabled here. If you don't see that, go to toggle switches and modes until you see it and then let's easy ease those. So now we have something where the top and bottom split apart. Now let's animate that middle layer so it scales down a little bit, starts to rotate, rotates and falls. So pressing P on our keyboard to open up position and then shift S and then also shift R to also open up the rotation and scale. Let's keyframe all of those. Go right about the same time where these split off screen and we can scale it down just a bit and then rotate it just a tad as well. I'm going to keyframe the position in place because we don't want it to move at all yet. And then let's go all the way to the end, turn that rotation to 90. That way it's completely vertical. And then I'm going to scale down a little bit as well and then move it completely off screen. So now when we easy ease that, we have a dope transition like that. So now let's start adding in the fire elements. First, we're just going to add in the overlays and then we're going to actually make the paper dissolve too. So it has that look. So I'm bringing in some embers and I'm going to have to scale it down because it is in 4K and then also turning that blending mode to screen. That way we can see our footage behind it. And then for me, it's a little too intense in this area. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this area out. I think lining it up something like that has that nice look to it. And then I want to go back into this black sheet layer and add on some curves just to the black sheet texture layer itself, add a little bit more contrast. And then I'm also going to add that onto the actual still image a bit to give a little bit more paper look. You can bring out some of the highlights and just the contrast overall. That way it looks a little bit more washed out. Now, when we have the paper texture and the fire together, it just looks a little bit better. In my opinion, we're going to highlight the top, the middle and the bottom pre-comp and actually pre-compose that again. 
So we can just name this papers. To add on that dissolve, that way it's looking like the paper's actually kind of burning apart. To get that effect, let's drag on CC burned film and then go right to where that paper starts to split apart and the fire becomes a bit more noticeable. And let's keyframe the burn and then go right before it kind of starts to go off screen and keyframe the burn so we can see we start to have the paper dissolving like this. We can easy ease this to make it look a bit better. And then let's just drag this out to the end. So now you can see it looks like it starts to burn apart here and kind of fall off screen. If you don't like the way it's looking on your footage, you can always play with the random seed. That's just gonna randomize the burn and make it look different. And then going all the way back into that base layer, I actually added CC burn onto the image itself. That way it slowly starts to fade black. So now you can see it starts to slowly dissolve away that image. And now if we go back into that full layer, you can see it also adds a little bit of that blackness here and just helps with that burn effect overall, in my opinion. Now let's add a little bit of motion to this paper layer. So we can keyframe the scale, go a few frames forward and keyframe the scale in a bit. Now it has a little bit of motion when it first takes that picture. And then I'm gonna have that scale hold for four frames right before it starts to split apart. And then we can go and keyframe it to 100 at the end. And then let's add some shake and a camera flash. That way it just sells the effect a little bit more. So let's highlight all of our layers, go to pre-compose and we can name this everything. Go back into our full layer and right where it switches, let's bring on brightness and contrast. Keyframe that brightness to something that looks a little bit like a camera flash. And then we can go one frame forward, bring that to zero. And then a few frames after that flash, bring it back to zero. So now we have a quick flash. Maybe let's make it a bit longer. So now we have a more of a camera flash look. And then the last step is to probably just add on some shake. That way it has a little bit of energy when it originally takes that shot. So let's drag on Sapphire Shake, bring down the amplitude a lot, turn on motion blur, and right at that first frame, keyframe the amplitude to one, go a frame before, keyframe it to zero. And we could probably turn up the frequency just a bit. There we are. And the only thing that's different now from the original that I had is I went to that base layer and I just added on some more of those embers. What I did is I actually scaled it down a little bit, rotated it so it came from the side and put it over here. And then I just made a nice mask, roughly the same area of the rip. And then we can go to that mask setting and feather it just a bit. And the reason I did that is just so it has a bit more burning on this paper layer itself. I think it adds a little nice touch to it. Definitely not necessary. A lot of this stuff is just to sauce it up a bit. And then lastly, to make it feel a bit more real, I added a camera flash, a fire growl, and then just a fire loop something really subtle in the background. That's pretty much all I got for you guys in this one. Like I said, the paper textures, the fire overlays, and the sound effects will all be linked in the description. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe with that notification bell ring. And if you haven't liked the video already, be sure to do that. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.